Hey Aiden? Yeah Olivia? Um, I was wondering if you could do me a big favor. You know I'd do anything for you. <laughs> yeah. So, I got this wedding invitation from my old friend, Jennifer, and a lot of people from high school is going to be there, and I'm a bit nervous to go on my own, and like, if Facebook's any ind indicator, at least one of my exes is going to be there, and it's going to be super awkward, and I, I, I'll get to the point, uh, the favour was, do you think you could come as my plus one? You know, only as a friend, you know? Uh, it just feels super awkward going alone and it would make me feel better if I had like a, a friend or a colleague from work uh, coming with me. Uh, y you know. Olivia, Olivia, I'll go. I, I would love to. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, thank you. I absolutely love weddings. It's so sweet and romantic and I just love the declaration of love. <sighs> of course you do. It's in about a month. So, um, see you at lunch. <sighs> Darn paperwork! <sighs> How do I look, Aiden? Am I overdressed? I, I think I'm overdressed. Would you relax, Olivia? <sighs> Sheesh, my hair is terrible after that. You look... <clears throat> Lovely. It's not every day that I see you wearing a dress. It's fabulous! <laughs> of course you think so. You think everything's fabulous. Well, that's not true. Now let's get in there. <sighs> let's do it. <sighs> Anyone you recognize? Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I did not think you'd make it. <laughs> Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss Jessica's wedding. So perfect, right? Ooh, and who's this boy? Oh, oh um, I haven't introduced you to. Aiden, this is Donna. Donna, this is my friend Aiden. Wow, Aiden. <laughs> That's a real gem! Good job, Olivia! Oh, and I don't think I've mentioned... This is my boyfriend, Brad! Brad, get over here! Uh, uh, talk to you later, the man. Yeah, man. What's up? We're really tight. <laughs> like you two! No, Aiden and I are just friends. We met at college after high school. I worked at the coffee shop and he would come by every day to get him pumpkin spice latte, but later it was revealed that he was just coming to see me. We got talking and things just kind of clicked. Uh, that, that's great. Um, I'm happy for you two. Anyway, gosh, I gotta use the bathroom. Uh, so I guess we'll talk later. Of course, hon, we need to catch up. Great. Okay, let's go, Aiden. Uh, well, she seemed nice. I absolutely love a hugger. Uh, yeah, she can be annoying, but she's still kind of nice anyway. Right, so the ceremony is about to start soon, I think? So didn't you say you needed the bathroom? That was just an excuse to get out of that situation. But now that you mention it, I should probably hit the bathroom. Uh, see you at the ceremony. Oh, it's time! Dearly beloved, we are here to celebrate the union of Brad Chavez and Jessica Nightingale. I vow to always be there for you during sickness and health, no matter what the case. I love you. And I vow to keep you pretty forever. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I can't even. <laughs> They're so happy together! Shish, Aiden, calm down a bit. How 
can I for them this strong? Do you, Olivia, promise to be with Brad through sickness and in health, through bad days and good? I do. And do you, Brad, promise to keep Jessica totes in like the totes awesome vibes and stuff? I do. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. It's, it's nice to catch up. Alright, okay. Ugh, I can't believe I have to wait in line to talk to Jessica. I never even liked talking to her when I didn't have to wait in line. Well, it's kind of understandable. It's it's her wedding after all, and everyone here is here to see her. And I'm having a good time just mingling and getting to know people. <laughs> of course you are, Aiden. Olivia, is that you? Oh my gosh, hey! It's it's Jessica's mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Nightingale. Huh, this is the most general smile I've seen on you all day. Olivia, who is this lovely gentleman? Oh, uh, Mrs. Nightingale, uh, this is my friend Aiden. Uh, nice to meet both of you. Wow, what a lovely man. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Nightingale basically made sure I was still alive through high school. Every, they, every time like I needed a place to stay, they were always there for me. That's great! Oh, and Aiden is pretty much my plus one, so I didn't have to be awkward here by myself. I'm glad you have someone that you can hang out with so you don't have to f hang around with us farts all night. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm sure it wouldn't have been so bad with you guys around. Well, it's almost your turn. Um, I hope to catch up with you later. <laughs> Goodbye, for now. Man, you're totally the friend that every parent loves. I didn't even think about that when inviting you. Well, not all parents, but parents generally t tend to like manners, and I think I present that quite a lot. Well, Jessica's parents like you anyway. Oh, it's our turn to meet the bride and groom. <laughs> Come on, Aiden. <laughs> Get up, lazy butt. Ugh, you threw me down here. Anyway, hi, Jessica. Oh my gosh, hi, Olivia. Mm -mm. I am so glad you made it. I really didn't expect you to come. This usually isn't your scene. And miss your big day? <laughs> never. <laughs> I never introduced you two. This is Bruce. It's Brad. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced you. This is Aiden. He's my uh, friend slash colleague. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Aiden here cried during your ceremony. Hey, what can I say? Your love is beautiful. Yeah, it is. I am so mm, happy to be marrying this wonderful man. <laughs> nice to meet you, but no funny business. I swear, if you hurt her, I will drop kick you in the face and give you a nice beating, like I've done to plenty more of her boyfriends in the past. <sighs> oh, don't mind her. She's just, she's just uh, being a good friend. She, she's not going to actually do that. Anyway, looks like more people in line are waiting. But we need to stay in touch after this. It has been too long. Definitely. Come on. Smile. Well, she seems nice. Yeah. You both seem to really get along. Uh, what happened? We've both been busy, I guess. Is that all? I, I guess. Well, I mean, in my opinion, it seems like you both want to get in contact, but you just don't know how. I mean, I think it would be better for the both of you, you know? What's wrong, Olivia? Oh, uh, I guess just sometimes I forget how level-headed you can be behind all the crying and screaming like a little girl. <laughs> I do tend to do that. <laughs> Olivia! Hey again! So, you remember Tiffany and Grace from high school, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. Guys, you remember Olivia? Hey, it's great to see you again. 
Oh my cat whiskers. Who's this? Oh yeah, Tiffany, Grace. This is my friend Aiden from work. Wow, you sure landed you a good one. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory, right? We went at work. We didn't really get along very great at first, but after a while we became really close. Oh, dog. Right, Olivia? Uh, yeah, that's exactly how it happened. Great phrasing. I hope you don't mind if I cut in. Uh, not at all, Daryl. Hi, Olivia. <laughs> Long time no see. <sighs> Be classy. Hi, Daryl. <laughs> it's been a long time, right? <laughs> yeah, last time I saw you, you dumped me. <laughs> Who's this nerd? Oh, Daryl, this is Aiden, my friend from work. <laughs> Aiden, right? <laughs> nice. So, um, you and Olivia are close? Very. She's like a really nice person and super smart and funny. <laughs> she sure is. Ooh, tension. Oh my dog, what do you expect is going to happen? They're going to start a fight or something? So Olivia, how have you been? Alright everybody, I'm going to go outside a bit, alone. But we're already outside. Then I'm going to take a breather. Um, I'll just be a minute. Take more than a minute. You look like you need it. Uh, okay, thank you. I knew I was overdressed. The bridesmaids are dressed as much as I am. Ugh. Well, at least the sunset's pretty. Oh, this is way too much social interaction. I need mind space. And I need the bathroom. Honestly, I was really surprised to see someone like Olivia together with a guy as hot as Aiden. Oh my god, Aiden. He's so hot. I would totally be all over Aiden if it weren't for the fact that he was taken. Such a waste of a good guy, you know? He's like kind and super duper hot. Yeah, I mean, no offense to Olivia, but like Aiden is so out of her league. I can't believe they're actually dating. I mean, I feel like I'm being really mean right now. I mean, I've known Olivia since high school, but she, uh, she and Aiden just really don't fit together, you know? And Aiden can do so much better. Like me, I'm perfect. <laughs> By the way, how's my makeup? Hmm, might need to um, redo your lipstick a bit after eating that corn on the cob. By the way, did you see that Aiden was talking to Lucas? Lucas is a geologist after all, and it looks like they have a lot in common. <laughs> Maybe they should get together. Who knows, he could be gay. And I think I saw Alice flirting with him. But he's a completely oblivious. But, you know, then good for her, right? <laughs> she landed that. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Fine. 
If they want to believe Aiden is my boyfriend, so let them. I'll just stop correcting them. It's like it's not going to like bring them away from their, what they're already presuming. I'm sure, Aiden won't notice he's too naive. <sighs> I'm good to go. Hey, hey! Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. The food hasn't been brought out yet. Good to know. Do we get to know who we're seated with yet? Yeah, yeah. Do you know a guy named Lucas Chavez? <laughs> Dang! Like, there's so many people from high school over here. It's like some high school reunion. But I guess Jessica did know a lot of people. She's like that kind of popular girl who just knew everyone and was f she's friendly enough. I presume she just invited everyone from high school. <laughs> But yeah, if it hasn't been obvious by now, yeah, I do know him. Um, well, we knew each other vaguely. We weren't that close, but we would talk in class sometimes. It's good to know you had friends. You deserve to be happy. <laughs> oh hey, here they come now. Oh, who's this lady? Uh, Olivia, so great to see you again. It, it's been forever. Anyway, this is my wife, Shaquila. You're married? That's so great! I'm so happy for you! You deserve to be happy! Yeah, it is really great. She, She's my one and only everything. Love is in the air, Olivia! Isn't it beautiful? Uh. Don't start crying again, Aiden. Okay, okay, okay I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just so filled with so much love and friendship right now. <laughs> Anyway, Olivia, did you know that Lucas was a geologist? No, I actually didn't, but he did do well in geology class, so I, I presume that's an indicator? I it's true. Before you came, me, me and Aiden have been talking all about rocks. I didn't know there was so much to know. Oh, I've been married to him for years. I know all the facts. Anyway, Aiden, me and Lucas has known each other since, gosh, I think it was like grad school or something. Anyway, he's been a great companion of mine, and he, like, the only person who I wouldn't feel judged when hanging out with. He kind of skipped that whole annoying teenage phase that I hated so much. Gosh, Olivia, I didn't know there was so much... Gosh, Olivia, I didn't know there was so much I didn't know about you. <laughs> well, I'm full of surprises. I love surprises! <laughs> I, I think our food is coming. Olivia, that is so unhealthy. Uh, well, uh, we all gotta have us our comfort food, guys. That's true. I yeah, true, 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 true. Mmm, goody. So, Adrian, uh, Olivia, how did you guys meet exactly? You two look so cute together. Uh, we work together. We work with kids. H how's that like? Uh, I guess I'm getting by, you know, kicking it. It's great, you guys. Hey, Olivia, remember that time that Violet got stuck in a tree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We had to call the fire patrol to get her down because nobody else could. <laughs> and remember the time that Lucy had a bake-off with Jacob? <laughs> the whole place was covered in batter. I think Lucy was trying to prove that desserts were better, and Jacob was trying to pr prove that main courses were better, and that it just became a really weird mi mix between the two, and it tasted awful. <laughs> yeah. oh, could not get a taste out of my mouth. <laughs> and remember the time Bumble threw a hissy fit because people weren't buying into his lies? <laughs> Tell better lies! Don't get through a hissy fit and make it worse! <laughs> or, you know, don't lie at all. <laughs> Alright everyone, settle down now. Settle down! Settle down! Thank you, Bruce. 
Have you all had a nice evening? <laughs> That's so great to hear. Anyway, now it's time to clear out of the dining room so we can start to party. I love to dance and I'm going to get a good night dance with this good gentleman. Everybody give him a, give him a cheer. <laughs> Oh yeah, come to Papa. Hey! You can't be drinking tonight. Cause remember, you gotta drive me home safe. Of course I remember, I would never disappoint you. I was just gonna get a piece of cake. Damn it, Olivia. Oh, uh, right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Aiden. It's no big deal. I would make the same mistake too. Mmm, yeah, you were right about comfort food. It's amazing! <laughs> you got that right. Man, Jessica loves to dance? Uh, 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 uh,
You don't worry about him getting to all those hot girls? <sighs> like I said, we're just friends. Jessica doesn't seem to think so. I would have thought you would have corrected her by now. Ugh, I've been correcting people all night. I guess I've just kind of given up. It's getting tiring. Olivia, I know you. You would never let anything slip past someone before correcting them. What's really going on? <sighs> of course she does. But why don't you like Aiden? He seems like a nice guy. He's f funny, smart, able to get along with people, and quite attractive, and he's quite fond of you, I've noticed. Uh, no, what? He, that would just be too weird. He's, he's my co-worker. I, I mean, dating him would just feel so wrong, you know? I mean, he's my friend and has been for years. Olivia, dearie, me and Ronald were just friends for a long time, for years, before we f figured out that we have romantic feelings for each other. Sometimes it just takes a little push. Oops. It just wouldn't make sense. Love doesn't have to make sense, dearie. For years I wondered why you dated all the guys back in high school and you couldn't put your finger on why or to any of them. Love doesn't make sense. You're talking nonsense. Yes, nonsense. No sense. Think about it. Stop listening to what it says up here and start listening to what it says down here. Try it for a minute. See what you find. Speaking of things not making sense, the pasta shells in the diner were delicious. Yes, it makes no sense how pasta shells can taste that good. <laughs> oh, Olivia! Hey! Thought you might be here. Oh, hey Aiden. Are you coming back to the party? Uh, I'm a bit tired out. But I want my favorite dance partner there. <laughs> there are plenty of people to dance with who are more enthusiastic about it than I am. Like Dawn on the girls. But I want to dance with you! Really? <laughs> okay, I guess. Come on, let's get a groove on! <laughs> hey, Olivia! What's up, Daryl? I hear the next dance a slow dance. You mind if I grab this one? Actually, Aiden promised me this one. Oh come on, you can be with your boyfriend all night, just one dance. Um, I'm gonna stop you right there, because, uh, I broke up with you back in high school for being a jerk, and clearly nothing has changed, so I think you should just leave me alone, okay, thanks, bye. Ugh, oh, he's such a jerk. Why did you even date him back in high school? Uh, I have a tendency to date jerks. It was my type, apparently. I don't know what I was thinking. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What, for now? Yeah. I don't think I would have been able to stand up to him if you weren't here. How oh, come? I guess I just get insecure about these things. Ah. Uh, but seriously, thank you for coming with me tonight. It's really taken the stress off of me as socializing knowing you're here. Well, um, I'm glad I could help you out. <laughs> I guess so. So, um, why is he even here anyway? Oh, um, he was Jessica's neighbor for a few years back in high school. Um, he's a real jerk, but her parents got along. They're here tonight, actually. Uh. <sighs> you alright? Uh, just tired, I guess. Not physically, but... Mentally worn out, I guess. <sighs> I guess tonight has been kind of. <sighs> I guess tonight have been kind of stressful. Hey, isn't that your friend Jessica? Oh yeah, 
Didn't you promise you'd talk to her? I bet that would make you feel better. <sighs> I guess I did. Go talk to her, come on. I'll, I'll occupy myself. Hey, there's Lucas at the punch table. <sighs> Fine. Oh my gosh, Olivia, hi! Sorry, I'll talk to you later. All right. So, Olivia, I need to catch up on all the deets. I am so glad you made it. <laughs> yeah. I mean it. I've been wanting, wanting to catch up with you lately. And this is the perfect opportunity. You always did care about me more than I deserved. <laughs> but for real, I know you haven't really wanted to stay in touch with everyone from high school. You see right through me. But honestly, I don't think I would have lasted this long if it weren't for Aiden. Oh yeah, let's talk more about him. Well, we're friends. Just friends? Yeah, I just brought him along so things wouldn't be so awkward. It's, he's been super nice to me tonight, as always. He's offered me kind of an anchor point uh, to all the socializing. It's great you can have a friend like that. Huh, I'm surprised you're not telling me to just date him already. That's what your parents were doing. Oh, you know them. <laughs> But, no, I think she's just take things slow, and if things are meant to be, they'll sort itself out. Sheesh, who are you, and what have you done with the Jessica I knew? <laughs> the Jessica I knew would just jump on any boy that she could find. Well, I tried to take things a little slower in college. <laughs> Who'd have thought? But, you know, dating Aiden, that would just feel so wrong. I mean, we're friends, and we're co-workers, and it just really would not work out. Oh, believe me, girl, I know. You know, I s simply could not stand Brad in the beginning. Shut up. But he seems so much like your type. Yeah, I always just found him kind of annoying, and he would never take group assignments seriously. But one day, he just asked me on a date, and you can guess what happened from there. Huh, I'm really glad for you. I'm just saying that love isn't always planned. But blah, enough about your love life. What about the rest of your life? <laughs> well, my job is pretty terrible, but standable since Aiden's there. I have a couple female friends outside work though, so I'm not completely alone. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's good to hear. <gasps> Cousin Sassandra? Is that you? Oh my gosh, it's been so long! Uh, oh, uh, uh, bye! Oh, uh, keep in touch, Olivia, and think about what I said. Last dance is at 11. You might want to latch onto your boy. I thought you weren't going to be like that. I'm pretty sure Daryl and Zach are here, and they're probably going to want dances from you. I'm just saying you should probably pick one before that happens. And weddings are like the perfect setting for love. Jessica, what? All I'm saying is if something happens, you thank me later. <laughs> Some things never change. And the next song coming up is a good one. Huh, I was liking the calm. <laughs> so then I told them no flipping chance. <laughs> What's up, Olivia? Why are you not with your boy? <laughs> Heading up right now. <laughs> Classic Aiden doesn't notice when a girl's clearly flirting with him. Uh, why does that make me feel good? Well, that's obvious. I'll catch you later, okay? Hey, guys! Olivia, hey! I got a perfect spot for you right here! <laughs> so, what you talking about? Oh, I was just telling them about the trench coat story. Oh yeah, so two kids dressed in a trench coat started, started dating me and I never even noticed. <laughs> you can't blame her. I didn't even notice either. Man, I felt like an idiot afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Olivia. Oh, oh wow. Um, hey, Zach. So, how have you been? I've been just getting by, I guess. That's good to hear. 
So, um, the next dance is coming up soon, and I was wondering if I could have it with you. Uh, oh, um, that's very sweet of you, but Aiden has got the last dance on me. Uh, oh, okay. But hey, hit me up on Facebook and we can uh, stay in touch. You really mean it, Olivia? Of course, I want to see how your life has been getting on. <laughs> Alright, um, ha have a nice night. Who was that? We're gonna go grab our spots on the dance floor, okay? Uh, uh, talk, talk to you later, a Aiden. Well, Tiffany, last dance is coming up soon. I think you better get a partner. I guess I better. Have fun, you two. <sighs> that was Zach. He had a huge crush on me back in high school. You sound annoyed. Yeah, because he was a total stalker and a creep. <laughs> he, he would like stalk all my latest classes and always just happen to be there. It, it was super creepy and weird. I'm so sorry about that, Olivia. <sighs> it's fine, it's over now. He seems less creepy now, just kind of sad and desperate. I I feel kind of bad. Well, about declining a bit dance. But I said we can chat online, at least that's something. You're a good person, Olivia. You really do care about others around you. Even if you don't want to show it all the time. <laughs> Thanks. All right, everybody, grab your partners, because this is the last slow dance of the night. All right, must save you this dance. This is the last one. So sad. All right, so let's go. Okay. Nice. You know, I guess in a weird way it's kind of nice that all these people can join together. <laughs> you know? Yeah, totally. I mean, there's a lot of people here I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, it's, it's weird, you know, I didn't think I really needed to reconnect with them, but, you know, it's nice, you know, to see how everyone's turned out now. <laughs> Must be nice. I dropped out of high school, so I wouldn't really know. Come on, you had one bad month and you decided to drop out? Kids are mean, okay? It's okay, okay. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. Nightingale! Bye! Thanks for being good to Olivia! Bye! 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 bye. Well, I guess it's our turn to go next. Lucas, promise, promise, promise to contact me all the time. I, I will, Aiden. Come here! Mm -mm. You're a very lucky woman, Shakila. <laughs> I know. Olivia, promise, promise, promise we'll stay in contact. Of course, Donna. And when I say that, I actually mean it. You're the best, Olivia. You really have changed for the better. Uh huh, let's not go that far. Well, I, I should, should be, be going. going. <clears throat> let's do it. Yep. Well, here we are. Here we are. I had a good time, Aiden. Thanks again for coming along. Uh, uh, no problem. Anytime. Well, I guess I'll see you at work on Monday. 
Hey, Olivia? Yeah? Uh, yeah, see ya. Hey, Olivia? Yeah? Um, quick question before you go. Shoot. Why halfway through the night you stopped correcting people that we were just friends? You noticed that, huh? Although it may not seem like it, I'm not an idiot, Olivia. Well, you know, I just got tired of telling people over and over again. I guess I kind of gave up. That's all? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so when I was in the bathroom, I overheard these girls talking, and they were talking about you and me, and how they couldn't believe how I snatched up a guy like you because you're obviously way out of my league. <laughs> and, um, like, I, <laughs> it just got me thinking, like, if they're so blind to think that we're dating, then maybe I could just, you know, not correct them for a night and let them believe that. You shouldn't let people's opinions affect you that way. At first I didn't notice, but after a while I started to, after you kept not correcting people and people were making really big assumptions. And then I was really surprised when you called me my boy. Oh wow, okay, I had hoped you hadn't heard that. You were running up to me, not that far away. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry, Aiden. I didn't mean to, like, use you. I just thought it would be, you know, harmless. You shouldn't let other people's opinions get to you like that, Olivia. You're smart, beautiful, you're hardworking, you really know what to do in times of crisis. You're the whole package. And if people from high school you didn't even care about in the first place think differently, then that's their loss. Why didn't you say anything at the time? It didn't seem like the time or place for a conversation like this. And gosh, do you really think I'm out of your league? Of course I do, you idiot. You have your whole life together. You have a sweet car, your dream job, and you're so nice and can talk to a bunch of people without being awkward like I am. And so many girls were flirting with you back there and you had no idea. And I have insomnia, can't do simple paperwork, cry at weddings and s small tacky toasts. And I'm apparently an idiot. Oh wow, I I'm sorry. Point is, I have just as many flaws as everyone else. If anything, you're out of my league. You know, if you want me to be your boyfriend for the night, I totally could have played along. You're stunning and somehow amaze me every day and I just it kills me to know that you don't realize it. Any guy would be lucky to have you. I just, um, think you should know that. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. No, no. By the sounds of what you just said, it sounds like, um... Like I'm deeply in love with you, Olivia. What? Gosh, Olivia, it's so hard, man. I, I keep trying to hold it in, and I keep trying to refrain from telling you how cute and amazing you are, but I think that all the time, and I think it, it kills me to know that you don't think that, and I just, I just wanted you to know, and I just, I, I really like you, it's what I'm saying, I'm sorry. Aiden, Aiden, calm down. <sighs> sorry. Listen, over the past few years I've been trying to give myself excuses as to why I shouldn't date you or even think about you romantically. It's always something like, but hey, we're friends, or he's not my type, or... But we work together. I'm sorry. Hey, let me finish. I've had so many excuses, but for what? Obviously, my type. Judging by what we've both seen tonight is really the wrong type. They're all jerks. So maybe I should try something nicer. <gasps> but, but dang, I don't deserve you, man. No, 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 you totally do. You're amazing and you just don't realize it. <laughs> well, we obviously complement each other quite right. <laughs> and I think I would be lucky to be with someone like you. 
and I think it would be good for you and also for me if we got together. Really? Yes, definitely, absolutely. and I'm deeply in love with you and that was the best kiss of my life. <laughs> Same. So, you maybe wanna continue kissing inside? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Come on. After you, my lady. Shut up. <laughs> mm -hmm. 